Do you realize that it has been 10 years since Microsoft officially launched DirectX 12? If you look back at the history of PC gaming, that is a wildly long time without a new number. Between 1995 and 2015 we saw about a dozen versions of DirectX. We went from the days of Doom 95 all the way to DirectX 11 in rapid succession. But since 2015? Silence. So why haven't we seen a DirectX 13 yet? To understand this, you have to look at how different DirectX 12 was from everything that came before it. Up until DirectX 11, each version was basically a refinement of the previous one. In fact, DirectX 11 was so polished that modern games like Baldur's Gate 3 still use it today. But DirectX 12 was designed as a clean break. The goal was to give developers low-level access to hardware, similar to what they get on gaming consoles. This allowed them to talk directly to the GPU and manage memory better, unlocking the power of modern multi-core CPUs. The main reason we are stuck on 12 however, comes down to how Microsoft viewed software back in 2015. You might remember the claim that Windows 10 would be the last version of Windows and would just act as a service that gets updated forever. While they clearly changed their minds about Windows, with the release of Windows 11, that philosophy stuck with DirectX. The truth is, the DirectX 12 you are using today is completely different from the one that launched a decade ago. It has quietly evolved into something called DirectX 12 Ultimate. Microsoft has been adding massive new features over time, things like DirectX Ray Tracing, Variable Rate Shading, and Mesh Shaders. In a way we actually do have DirectX 13, it just doesn't have the number. It is very similar to the old days of DirectX 9.0a, 9.0b, and 9.0c, just stretched out over a much longer timeline. Because modern game engines like Unreal Engine handle so much of the heavy lifting, developers don't need to worry as much about the specific API number anymore. Unless there is a massive shift in hardware that requires rebuilding the software foundation from scratch, DirectX 12 Ultimate will likely just keep getting better without ever needing to become 13. If you found this explanation helpful, please hit that like button, share this video with your fellow tech enthusiasts, and subscribe for more deep dives into the tech world.